Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 6 of my Piano Zero blog series. In this episode, I'm going to be talking all about the fantastic sea day in the Mediterranean Sea, as well as our day in the Italian port of Livorno, so I really hope that you enjoy this video. So after all the excitement of my university results, as well as a busy day exploring Gaudi's masterpieces in Barcelona, I was really thankful for a relaxing sea day. Now we woke up to completely clear blue sky and it was easily about 25 to 30 degrees on deck and there wasn't a single breath of wind and this gave me the opportunity to take some fantastic pictures of Azura as she sailed through the Mediterranean Sea at a very leisurely pace of around seven knots. It really looked like there had been a glitch in the matrix when you were looking at the horizon because you couldn't quite make out whether or not you were looking at the sea or the horizon or the sky. So it was really interesting to see that, that's for certain. Now I have to admit, most of the sea day involved doing as little as possible Although we did enjoy yet another choir rehearsal led by the fantastic headliners vocalist Ben and Annie who made us laugh throughout every rehearsal on our cruise and our music was really starting to come together so we were looking forward to performing that later on in the cruise. Me and the family got ready for another gorgeous meal on board Azura and we started the evening off with a few cocktails in the fantastic Planet Bar. However, after dinner, we were treated to one of my favourite shows on board a piano ship, Astonishing. This was designed by Stephen Mulhern and features a lot of illusion and a bit of magic, as he so rightly says. And I have to admit, I think the amount of work that the performers put into these acts is absolutely incredible. And I've probably seen this act several times now on board Aurora, Britannia, Azura and Oceana in the future. And I always love it, even though every ship do things slightly differently, but it's still a fantastic experience. So I'd recommend that you go if you get the opportunity to when cruising restarts. After that, we had an early night because we had yet another port to explore, our first Italian port of Livorno. Now, Livorno is marketed as one of the main ports to explore larger cities such as Florence and or Pisa. However, with it being so warm and also not being a massive fan of being in coaches for a long time, we decided to stick to the local port. And my goodness, it was probably one of the hottest days of our cruise that day. And I'm not sure that the pictures do it any justice, but we were very much medium to well done by the end of our little excursion. Even with this heat, me and Zoe set out to explore the city, and we were pleasantly surprised because there were lots of little canals and windy streets for us to explore, and some really nice parks as well. So I'm really glad that we took the time and risk heat exhaustion to be able to explore this port. However, if you are wanting to go to somewhere like Florence or Pisa, it is important to note that it will be quite a long day, easy about eight or nine hours and you will have to be in a coach for an hour or so each way. The ship nearly always tends to be late with these types of ports because the traffic as you can imagine especially in high summer is really busy with tourists so it is important to maybe consider booking a cruise excursion with P&O themselves because if that coach is delayed the ship will wait for you whereas if you were with a third party the ship doesn't have to stay and you do run the risk of missing the ship and that isn't something you want halfway through your holiday that's for certain now once we arrived back at the port to go back on azura again i couldn't believe how big azura actually is now i know i say this quite often in these vlogs but I always forget how big these ships are and they truly are a marvel of engineering and I have to admit Azura looked absolutely incredible basking in the Mediterranean sunshine, that's for certain. So after spending some much needed time in our cabin with the air conditioning, me and Zoe decided to sit and relax by the pool and read our favourite books. Finally, Azura left the port of Livorno slightly late as I mentioned due to traffic in Florence. However, with us having an aft balcony before dinner, we sat out and watched Azira cast off her lines and sail out of the port of Livorno. And this is just another reason why I love these aft balconies. You get such a unique view and it was quite cool to see the ship's propellers turn on for the first time since docking and slowly maneuvering her way out of Livorno. So that was really special. So before dinner, we made our way to the Planet Bar to have a few cocktails before our dinner. I couldn't help but go on the deck above the 
planet bar deck 19 to take in some fantastic views as the sun was starting to set and this is a place that I would recommend anyone visit when they go on board a zero because the perspective you get looking down the ship is incredible. Now after dinner our entertainment that evening was the headliners theatre company performing Hitsville USA. Now this showed off some classic Motown music and although I'm not someone who tends to listen to this normally I really enjoyed it and it really showcased yet again the sheer talent and skill of the headliners vocalist that's for certain so we had a fantastic evening and all of a sudden it was time to go to bed because we had yet another port to explore which would be Civitavecchia which is the gateway to Rome so we were really looking forward to that port. So, I really hope that you enjoyed episode 6 of my Piano Azure vlog series. If you have, please like and subscribe because it's always appreciated, and take a look at some of my other social media sites, the links are below. I hope that you're all doing well with everything at the moment, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. So, until next time, this is Cruising with Matthew, and thank you so much for watching.